Hola, hola, me llamo Windy City, bienvenido, muchachos and muchachas. Hey, bienvenido en la show de Wing It With Windy, un en la show de muy especial, en la show de español. So, hasta pronto! Bienvenido, Wing It with Wendy. Un la show muy especial de español. Ah, but no cocina. El clima, el clima de color. Un Wendy muy caliente. No cocina. Hoy no cocina. So that's all the Spanish I know. <laughs> Because I'm taking Spanish lessons and you know, so basically it's hot outside today. You know, we're going to be over 90, maybe even 100 degrees, you know, when it just goes to show you that the heat doesn't kill the COVID, okay? Just go ask the people in Texas and Florida, you know, but things are going good here in Chicago and Illinois. Just don't come and visit. Stay home, right? So today what we're going to show you is we're going to show you how to cook with a little Spanish flavor, right? And we're not going to even be cooking. Why? Because we're not going to turn on the stove, right? I'm going to give you stuff that's going to be really great for uh, cold weather, right? So um, we're going to teach you how to make um, a little guacamole. And now people say, oh, God, that's easy. I know how to make guacamole. No, you don't, okay? Because I got lessons. I got lessons from the Spanish. And um, so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a couple of avocados. So we got some avocados here. And you want to make sure that they're firm, but not hard, right? You know, it's the one time you want something that's not hard. Um, so you need some avocados. You're going to need some jalapenos, right? That's for the spice. You need some limes, fresh limes. I put in a little bit of garlic, you know, to spice it up. And then tomatoes. You're going to need some tomatoes here. I like the nice heirloom variety. And then I chopped up some uh, fresh cilantro, fresh, fresh cilantro here. And then, um, and then there's some red onion, red onion too, okay? So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make this guacamole because it's the perfect, like you could use it as an appetizer. You could even make it a meal, you know, when it's hot out like this. So the first ingredient, the first ingredient we need to start with here is um, this tequila, tequila. It's hecho, hecho, and Mexico. And you know, it's not tequila. It's not tequila unless it comes from tequila, Mexico, right? And this is the Blanco, Blanco variety, Gran Dovejo. It's Gran Dovejo. So when we're making tequila, we need to start, I mean, we're making a guacamole. We got to start with some good tequila, right? So we just set this down right here because we're going to need that. And, um, and then we got to take our avocados. So Ready? We're going to start the whole process. So now that we start the process, okay, now we can get going. So what we're going to do is have you ever, ooh, that's hot. <laughs> so, so you take your avocado and you you're going to slice it long ways, right? And then you just go like this and you turn, hold the knife steady and turn the avocado, right? And then you twist it, and then there's the nut. You know, so you always want to get to the nut, but not till the end. And um, I hit it like that, and then you twist it, and the nut comes right out. Isn't that nice, right? So the next thing you're going to do is you take your avocado, and you create little lines through there. You're scoring it, but don't cut through to the skin, right? And then you cut it across, and that's how you make your chunks, right? And then after you do that, you take a spoon, and you scoop out, you put it in your bowl, and it's going to look something like that, right? So the next thing you got to do is you're going to spice it up. 
And so we got a little like diced up here jalapenos. So I'm gonna put some jalapenos in there. And then I'm gonna put in some of my garlic. I want a little bit of garlic in there. And then um, we're gonna put in some fresh cilantro, okay? So now all of this is not really measured. It's measured to taste. Um, naturally, you want more avocado than you want some of the other ingredients. And then we're gonna put in some red onion in there, right? Okay? So now that we got that all in there, I'm waiting on my tomatoes because you don't want to mush the tomatoes, right? And so I take a fork with a big, big wide end like that, and I just smash it down a little bit. But you don't want to beat it to a pulp, okay? You're just going to smash it just a little bit. You know, the worst thing you can do, the worst thing you can do to guacamole is you beat the hell out of it so it's like a puree and it's liquid. That's a bad thing. And see, one of the things I did here, too, that you'll find is rather interesting, is I left this extra avocado here, and so I'm not going to mash this one. I'm just going to put this one in there now after I mash the others. So that way, it gives me some nice chunks in my guacamole. That's what makes a really good guacamole, is when you got the chunks in there, right? So, um, so now, I'm going to finish the other half of this avocado, right? There you go. And mix this up in there. I'm mixing the chunks in. Now, the last thing you're going to need is a lime, right? We're going to cut this lime in half. And then I got one of these. It's a little juicer, right? And you throw your lime in there. And whoops. And what, <laughs> what this is doing, what this is doing, it's adding the acid to it. So <laughs> not taking acid. <laughs> That'd be a trip it. Um, so you're putting, the, you're putting the lime in there. And this keeps it green so it doesn't like get all discolored on you, you know, because sometimes the avocado gets a little discolored. And um, so we're going to mix that lime in there. Now, I'll tell you, this is not, not real, uh, or not real guacamole yet. So I'm going to put this in a bowl and you're going to see the nice color that we got out of it, right? Look at that. Doesn't that look good? And it's all chunky. That's how you want your avocado. You want it chunky, right? So what really makes it authentic authentic um guacamole is this you need you need a little queso fresco queso fresco when i learned this i learned this from my uh, mexican friends so traditional queso fresco and then basically it's kind of like mexican mozzarella it's hard and crumbly and what you want to do is you want to take it and you want to crumble this on the top of your guacamole. That's what, that's what makes good guacamole. So when we get back, we're going to make you one other dish that you could use in this hot weather. So we'll see you soon. Imagine if every time you craved Taco Bell, it was there. Well, now it kind of is. Get free delivery on your first Taco Bell order of $12 or more. Only on Grubhub. Bienvenido in la show de Winge with Windy. Welcome back. <laughs> so this episode, this episode is brought to you by La Perferenda. Why La Perferenda? Because it doesn't taste like Goya. Because Goya tastes like Trump's ass, right? When it's La Perferenda, it's perfect with La Perferenda. Also, tonight's show brought to you by the Spanish Language Studio. Spanish Language Studio here in Chicago on diversity. On diversity. So if you want some lessons and you want to speak Spanish just like I do, go to the Spanish Language Studio. They're very good. Although, you know, you see, I'm still on the beginner level. I'm still beginner level one right now. Um, or it's two. I don't know. <laughs> You know, the good thing is they don't give you a test, so we're good. <laughs> so, um, as we said earlier, no cocina, right? No cocina means we're not cooking, but we are. We are. We're just not cooking with heat. I mean, I cook with heat, but that's in the bedroom, right? So, in the kitchen today, because it's hot out, muy calor, um, we are going to cook with no heat, right? And you say, well, how are you going to do that? Because I'm going to show you how to make servici. Servici, 
which is basically raw fish. So we're going to be cooking in the raw today. <laughs> and who doesn't like cooking in the raw, right? So what do we have today? So what makes a good servishi? So what you really want is um, you could have like um, scallops and shrimp, right? You want scallops and shrimp. Sometimes people put octopus in there. Um, but we're doing a fish servishi. And then we also got, here's our fresh scallops. These are raw, raw scallops, right? And then I got some shrimps, fresh shrimps here. These are de-veined, you know, although I like a veiny one, these are de-veined, right? And that means they take the mud vein out and they're clean and chopped up, right? And then I got a little tilapia, tilapia. This is a cheap fish. It's a cheap fish. You can get it anywhere. It's really good. And now I got an expensive fish. It's a Chilean sea bass, a Chilean sea bass. So what makes a good servishi is a, a white fish, you know, and sometimes I like a good red snapper. You know, they when I go out to the bars and they see me across the bar over there, they say, there's that Wendy, that red snapper. <laughs> so a couple other things we're going to need. We're going to do onions again, red onions. So same ingredients almost as our guacamole, right? But these I diced finely, finely, right? So they're a little stringy here, you know, so we want that. And then I love good cilantro. You got to have good fresh cilantro. Got some jalapeno, our little And then, um, or some people say jalapeno. And um, we got the... We got the garlic here, and I chopped up. You want to use fresh garlic, you know, in a clove and chop it up. And then we got some tomato. And I know we're a little fast in the first segment. So you add your, on your guacamole, you're going to add your tomato on the end after you've done your guacamole, okay? Because you don't want to mash up the tomato because it's all juicy. It'll make your guacamole watery. You don't want that. And then I got some sliced up cucumber, fresh cucumber. This actually came from the garden, right? So, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take all our raw, ing well, they're all raw, but we're going to take all our fish. So I got my scallops here, and I'm going to dump my scallops in there, right? So I got those. Here is my uh, Chilean sea bass. You know, Chile, it's down in South America there. Um, my, one of my good friends, one of my good friends is from down there. I think he's from Peru or that, Giancarlo. Hi, Giancarlo. I know you love Wendy and you're watching the show. Um, we'll see if I get over to Greece this year. And uh, there's my tilapia, tilapia in there. And, um, and then there's my, my shrimp. Now get this, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because it's raw. You're not gonna die. You're not gonna get no illness or anything. Just make sure it's good and fresh. And then the next thing you wanna do is we got some salt here. And I'm going to salt it pretty liberally there with a little kosher salt. So it's good for the juice. And, um, and then I got some pepper, ground pepper. I'm going to put some pepper on that, right? Right? I think Chad sits on this late, like later at night, but I don't know. It's a, it's a funny looking pepper grinder. I don't know why it's in the kitchen. So, um, <laughs> and then we take our garlic. And I like a lot of garlic, and so I put a lot of garlic in here liberally. Why? Because I'm a Polak, and that's why you put garlic in there. And then um, jalapeno. You want a little bit of jalapeno? Put that in there, right? And, you know, this is, again, it's all, there's no measuring. It's all the taste. Um, if you like it a little bit of a kick, put more jalapeno in there, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my onion. I'm going to put my onion in there, and so I'm going to sprinkle those onions in there. Now, what's got to happen here is this has got to marinate, marinate, right? And so you say, well, what does that mean? So we're going to take these limes and believe it or not, believe it or not, when I said no cocina, meaning we're not cooking, we are cooking right now. We're actually cooking chemically, chemically, right? Because the acid, the acid of these limes is actually going to cook our fresh seafood, right? and say, well, Wendy, how does it do that? Well, you know, I'll tell you, the Latins, they figured out everything a long time ago. You know, when you didn't have a flame, you didn't have a flame, how you cook your fish, you put a little lime juice on it, and what it does, it has like a chemical reaction in a good way, in a flavorful way, and you're gonna keep covering this with all your juice, cover it up with your juice. That's what I told them last night. And uh, so, uh, Anyway, so, <laughs> so we're going to keep doing this, and you want to make sure that your fish is covered, and you want to toss it around a bit. And what you'll find is your fish, your fish is going to start turning, 
it's going to start turning a little white and opaque, right? That means it's cooking well. So I'm going to have to add a couple of more limes to this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it sit for 30 minutes, 30 minutes. And they say, well, what about the other ingredients? Well, well, the most important thing is tequila, tequila. So, um, so what you're going to do with the tequila, with the servici, is um, after you put it in the oven, you do the tequila. So we're going to put this in the oven. Now watch. With the magic, magic of TV, right, I already, I already have a plate ready to go. So now what I did here is um, I took my tomatoes, my heirloom tomatoes, I put those in last. So right before you serve it, you're going to put your heirloom tomatoes in there. You're going to want to put some cilantro on there, right? And then I have fresh cucumber from the garden, from the garden. There you go. So um, there is your fresh servici. And they say, Wendy, you're full of it. You're not going to really eat that because it's raw. No, it's not raw. It's cooked. It's cooked servici and um, it's cold. And you can enjoy this on a hot day and get your protein, okay? Thanks for watching. Wing it with Wendy.